Hi Church, I'm Jennifer Alessio, the children's pastor here at Heights Church, and I just want to say thank you so much for joining me for today's devotional. Our thread for the day is we aspire to thirst for God, and our scripture is from Psalms 42 verses 1 through 2a, and I'm going to read it for us. As the deer longs for streams of water, so I long for you, O God. I thirst for God, the living God. I love the scripture. It is one of my absolute favorites because it reminds me um, of that time when I first got serious about my relationship with the Lord and I rededicated my life to him at 25. And I was so hungry for God. I could not get enough. I read my Bible for a long time every day, several chapters. I spent lots of time in prayer. I was listening to radio shows about Christian living and about coming to God for healing and for forgiveness for him and receiving all that love that he had for, had for me. Anytime the church doors were open, I was there. I was there on Wednesday night, Sunday morning. I was in a, a small group. And it was such a rich time for my life. It, it just seemed to me that I couldn't get enough of the Lord's presence. But here I am 16 years later, and I have to put in a little bit more effort to have that thirst for God. It's not as easy as it came to me when my relationship with Him was so new and so fresh at the time. And so I found that I need to prioritize my chair time with Him every day. I need to have that time where I can have silence and solitude with him, to where I can ask him to give me a thirst for him. When we ask him to give us, to give him, to give us a thirst for him, he is faithful to give that to us because it's something that he desires for us to have. He desires for us to have a desire for him and a great love and hunger for him. The other thing that I've learned that I really need to do is to spend some time out in nature. Um, just some time for me where I can have peace and some silence and, and quiet and do things that really, really fuel my, fuel my soul, like going for a walk or spending time in a beautiful garden or a hike. Maybe for you, that means doing art or, or playing music or spending lots of time in worship if you would really, really get filled by that. Or maybe it's even doing crafts or woodworking. Whatever it is, I encourage you to take some time to prioritize those things that, that allow you the space to usher in the presence of God and to, to cultivate that great thirst for Him. The other thing that I've learned that I need to do is really prioritize um, corporate worships, attending church together, and having community. And right now, one of the best ways that we can do that is, is prioritizing watching um, the, our worship services with others. We can prioritize that for our kids, maybe even having a house party. And then in addition to that, getting involved in a life group. And I just have to say, if you're not in a life group already, I just encourage you to reach out to Pastor Justin and get in one because there is a great group for you. And being in the life group has been so rich for so many of us during these times when we're not able to be all together on a Sunday morning. We can still have that community and we can still um, find the richness that comes of when two or three believers come together, God's presence um, is there. He promises to bring his presence. And, and it's those times when we're able to have community with others that really encourages us to grow in our thirst for God. So maybe you're listening to all of this and you're thinking, you know what? My thirst for God is kind of run dry. I, I'm not, I'm feeling a little bit like, you know, that, that deer in the scripture. Or maybe I wish I was like the deer in the scripture that had that thirst. Maybe that's dried up for you. I just encourage you now to pray and ask God to give you a great thirst for him and to show you those steps that you can make to, to make room for him in your life. When things are so chaotic, it, it can feel like we don't have time for God because we're spinning out of control. But in reality, the most important thing we can do is to stop what we're doing and take some time to pray. Take some time to just assess how we're feeling and process that with God and then ask him to give us 
a greater thirst for him. So let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for today, God. I thank you for your great love for us. God, I thank you that you are faithful and that when we ask you to give us a thirst for you, God, you you desire to give that to us and you were ready and, and able and willing to give that to us right away. So I pray for all of us watching that you would give us a great thirst for you. Help us to hunger for you more than anything else in our lives. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.